Welcome to Infigyan my dear friends. Today in this video we are going to take up another very very interesting radical equation problem from Vietnam Math Olympiads which will be solving for real values of x. So let's get started with our substitution straight away. I will consider cube root of 4x minus 4. Let us write cube root of 4x minus 4 equal to u. Now we will take power 3 both sides. So cube root and cube will be cancelled out. We will get 4x minus 4 equal to u cube. So we can write 4x equal to u cube plus 4. Now we will divide both sides by 4 to get the value of x in terms of u will be u cube plus 4 over 4. Let's say this is our equation number 1. Now we will write our equation after substitution. We will be writing 2x square minus 11x plus 21 equal to 3u. This would be our equation number 2. Now we will put the value of x in terms of u in equation 2 from equation 1. We will get 2 times u cube plus 4 over 4 whole square. This is 2u square minus 11x. x is u cube plus 4 over 4 plus 21 equal to 3u. I can write here from 1 and 2. Now we can write 2 times u cube plus 4 whole square over 16 minus 11 over 4 times u cube plus 4 plus 21 equal to 3u. Now 16 over 2 is 8. So we will write 8 in the denominator. Now we will multiply our equation by 8 both sides. So we will get u cube plus 4 whole square minus 2 times 11. So 22 u cube plus 4 plus 21 times 8, 168 equal to 3u. Now we will be using a plus b whole square identity here and we can write u power 6 plus 8u cube plus 16 minus 22u cube minus 88 plus 168 equal to 3u. Now we will write all the terms to LHS. We will get u power 6 minus 14u cube minus 24u plus 96 equal to 0. This is one degree 6 equation. We will be solving using rational root theorem and synthetic division method. So let me write here equation u power 6 minus 14 u cube minus 24 u plus 96 equal to 0. Let's write all the eligible factors of 96 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 plus minus 4 and so on. Leading coefficient is 1. So we will write plus minus 1 only. Now we have to take ratio of constant to leading coefficient. In that series, if I will plug in u equal to 1, will it satisfy our equation 1 minus 14 minus 24 plus 96? No, it won't. If I will put u equal to minus 1, will it satisfy 1 plus 14? plus 24 plus 96. No, it is not. 
if I will plug in u equal to 2, so 2 power 6 is 64 minus 14 times 2 will get minus 112 minus 24 times 2 minus 48 plus 96. So this will give us 160 with plus sign and 160 with minus sign. So yes, we are going to get RHS 0. So u equal to 2 is our base solution for this hexic equation. Now I can use synthetic division method. So I need to write all the coefficients of degree 6 equation. We will write here 1 coefficient of u power 6, 5 and 4 is missing. Then we will write minus 14. Then u square coefficient is missing. Then we will write minus 24. Constant is 96. We will put one line over here. Leading coefficient 1 would be as it is. Now we have to multiply leading coefficient with our base solution 2. 2 times 1 we will write here. Then we have to add these two. We will get 2. 2 times 2 is 4. We have to add these two. We will write here 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Addition of these two will give us minus 6. 2 times minus 6 is minus 12. Once we will add these two, we will get minus 12. And 2 times minus 12 is minus 24. Addition of these two will give us minus 48. And 2 times minus 48 is minus 96. Addition will be 0. So these are coefficients for degree 5 equation, which we can write u power 5 plus 2u power 4 plus 4u cube minus 6u square minus 12u minus 48 equal to 0. Again, we can find the eligible factors of 48. Let me write degree 5 equation here. Here it is. Now we will write eligible factors of 48. It would be plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, plus minus 4, plus minus 6 and so on. Leading coefficient is 1. So we will write only plus minus 1. Now we will take the ratio of constant to leading coefficient and I am putting u equal to 2 directly. So 2 power 5 is 32. 2 times 2 power 4, again we will get 32. 4 times 2 power 3, again we will write 32. Then minus 6 times 4, minus 24. Minus 12 times 2, minus 24. Then we have minus 48. So here I can write 96 and then we have again 96. So u equal to 2 is base solution for this degree 5 equation. Again, we can go for synthetic division method. I need to write all the coefficients of degree 5 equation. 1, 2, 4, minus 6, minus 12 and minus 48. We will write our leading coefficient 1 as it is. Now we have to multiply these two numbers. 2 times 1 is 2 addition will be 4, 2 times 4 is 8, addition will be 12, 2 times 12 is 24, addition will be 18, 2 times 18 is 36, addition will give us 24, 2 times 24 is 48, addition will be 0. These are coefficients for degree 4 equation. So I can write u power 4 plus 4u cube plus 12u square plus 18u plus 24 equal to 0. Now I will split 12u square. So I can write 12u square is equal to 4u square plus 8u square. Let me write here u power 4 plus 4u cube plus 4u square after a split plus 8u square plus 18u plus 24 equal to 0. 
Now I will pick these three terms. So it is perfect square of u square plus 2u. And then we have 8u square plus 18u plus 24. So from there I can take 8 common. So I can write in the bracket u square plus 18 over 8 u in bracket then I will write plus 24 equal to 0. Now coefficient of u is 18 over 8 which we can write 9 over 4. Let me write here u square plus 2u whole square plus 8 times in the bracket u square plus 9u over 4. Then we will write plus 24 and then we will put equal to 0. Now coefficient of u in the second bracket it is 9 over 4. Half of 9 over 4 is 9 over 8. A square of 9 over 8 is 81 over 64. So what I did here I added 81 over 64 in the bracket. So I need to subtract 8 times 81 over 64 which is 81 over 8. So I will write here 81 over 8. Now this bracket will give us another perfect square. So I will write equation u square plus 2u whole square plus 8 times in the bracket will write u plus 9 over 8 whole square. Then we have 24 minus 81 over 8 which we will write 24 times 8 over 8 so that denominator will be 8. 81 over 8 equal to 0 or we can write u square plus 2u whole square plus 8 times u plus 9 over 8 whole square plus 24 times 8 is 192. So I will write 192 minus 81 over 8 equal to 0. Or I can write u square plus 2u whole square plus 8 times u plus 9 over 8 whole square plus 111 over 8 equal to 0. Or we can write u square plus 2u whole square plus 8 times u plus 9 over 8 whole square. This is equal to negative 111 over 8. A square of any real number is always positive. A square of any real number is always positive. Sum of two positive numbers cannot be negative. So from this equation we are going to get complex solutions. So we can reject this equation as we are looking for real solutions. So we are going to accept u equal to 2 only and u was our substitution. If I will write here cube root of 4x minus 4, this was u. So I will write equal to 2. After cubing both sides, we can cancel cube root and cube from LHS. We will get 4x minus 4 equal to 8. By adding 4 to both sides, we will get 4x value. Value will be 4 plus 8, 12. Now we have to divide by 4 both sides to get our final answer, which is coming out x equal to 3. So x equal to 3 is the only real solution for our radical equation challenge. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.